Hello everyone, this is Erica from Nanny D's Embroidery. Today I'm going to show you how to use the text feature on Brothers PE Design software. This is version 10. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and click on text. You can do a monogram type text, small text, or just regular text. We're going to do regular text today. So as you can see over here, well first we have a blank, we have text attributes, you're going to need that in a minute. Now, over here under text is the fonts that you're going to be able to use. Now there's 120 built-in fonts with this program. If you go down below those, you'll see some over here on the left hand side, they're a little lighter gray. These are all the fonts that are in your computer. Anything that you've downloaded to use, uh, say for Word, is going to be on here. Now some of them will work well, some of them will not. Um, you just have to play around and see what works best for you. Some just don't, um, they look good on the screen, but they don't uh, embroider so well. So today we're going to do one called, oh, we'll, we'll use Bad Unicorn, it's called. Now, over here you can change the size of the font, and over here you can change the color. Now, if you happen to have a picture on there already, down below it'll pick up the, most of the colors or all of the colors of that are in the picture, and you can choose from them um, just in case you want to perhaps uh, make your your text the same color as your picture. Now we'll go ahead and we'll choose this purple here. Oh, let me show you one more thing. I'm my apologies. You can just click on Show Color Palette. It'll bring you over here, and if you click on Red Chart, there is a list of colors: the sulky colors, the Brother Enhanced Chart, the Brother Embroidery Chart, the Madeira. I think it's called. Excuse me if I hack that. Uh, I don't know. I've never used it. So, but I for now for today we're going to stick with the brother embroidery. So we're going to go with Violet six one three embroidery Violet. We're going. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Now to be able to put text on your picture, you click on here. You can see. Right now I have 20, so it's quite big, but you can see where it's at. Now over here under text attributes, you can see this line right here. It is kind of flashing, I guess. Now that is where you're going to type. Um, as you're typing, you will see it come out on your screen. The little block here is going to be the size of area that you have set for your hoop. Um, I will show you how to do that in a different different tutorial. Now, click over here and we're just going to write hello. Now, some of these may or may not go off the page. That's perfectly okay. You can fix it. So when you get done typing, go back over here, double click. And you can see, this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to make it a little larger for you because you can see a little bit better. But this is what it's going to look like approximately when it is um, embroidered on your material. Now, if by chance you decide that you, hey, you know, I really don't like that font, you can go over to, well, if it'll work for me, under text attributes, highlight it, go back to text, Go into your font list. Um, oh, goodness gracious. Um, give me a second. Sorry about that. Let me go back. Go over to your font list. Come on. And you can change it. So we'll do love letters. And again, like I said, if by chance it's off the page, that is perfectly okay. I will show you in just a second how to fix that. Um, again, if you decide, you know, I really don't like that color, I'm gonna go with, say, a blue instead. You go same place in text, click on blue. Now, let me show you how to use the feature on how you can change the sizes. Now, you can use this one, it's in all four corners. 
If you use this one here, it will change both the width and the height at the same time, as you can see. Now it's still off the page, so I'm going to use this as kind of a north, south, east, and west. It reminds me of grab it and move it. And as you can see, as you're moving it, it will show you exactly where it's going to be placed. Now the other features on this are this one here, this will change the width only. This one or the top one will change the height only. And this one, you can rotate it. For some reason you want it at an angle or upside down, wherever you want to rotate it to. Okay, now that I've shown you that, we are going to go over, excuse me, I'm going to take you over here. Now, I have not messed with these. I will be honest with you. So I'm not going to try to show you how to use those. Um, you have an alignment chart here, just like you would in Word. Uh, left, right, centered. Also, this is your directional. Now you can either have it horizontal as it is now, or you can have it vertical. I'm going to go ahead and put it back to horizontal so I can show you the rest of the features. Now if we go down a little bit, you can see where it says transform. You have all kinds of options here on how you can um, bend or whatever your font. Mm -hmm. Now, let me click on transform. As you can see, it just happens to be set on this one. But there's this one, this one, even the little wavy if you want, which, however you want to do it. Now, if you decide that you don't want that, you'd rather it just be straight. All you have to do is unclick transform. It'll put it right back to where it, it was before. So again, we'll go over this again. Text. Uh, font. Color. Transform, Alignment, and Directions. And that is all, folks. Have a wonderful day. You can find us either, if you have any questions, you can comment below, or you can find me at Nana Embroidery on Etsy.